Now let's get lively. Davis versus Garcia, finally. That's Ryan Garcia, not Hector. So not, you're not Hector, not Luis, not Rafael. No, nah. Ryan with an R. Um, I see a lot of talk about this, how anyone that's just like, oh, if you think Ryan's got a chance in this, you don't know anything about boxing. Anybody who has that comment proves that they don't know anything about boxing. Yeah, and they should shut their dirty little whore mouths. Um, <laughs> you fucking tell them, Griff. They should. But no, it's not to, it's not to sit here and dispute that fact of like, oh, like I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting here and saying you're a fuckwit because I believe the opposite of that fact. It's a 50-50 fight. It is hard at to this pick. point. I mean, they, it leans they both got li- power in their hands, man. They can both put someone... Out cold, stiff with one shot. Yes, they both can. And it's like, the, and it's one of those things of like the technical advantages that, D- that Davis has are sort of slightly like brought into balance by the fact that Garcia has got so much more speed and a, like a reach advantage. And I see it being like a, kind of a bit of a thing, whereas um, Tank's shown that he's like got a good chin, Garcia's shown that he's a bit chinny. So that is a little factor that I have looked into. Like, I'm like, oh, Garcia might be able to crack Tank with a couple before he's be able to put him out. Whereas, like, I've, I don't, I've seen Garcia get dropped by Luke Campbell. That's true. I also don't think Davis has been hit by somebody like Garcia before. Oh, no, like, uh, Hector Garcia had no, like, probably a quarter of the amount of power that Ryan has. And he was tagging him. Yeah. Whether that was by like tanks design or something to like wear a shot to get a shot Mm. i'm not exactly sure but like like we spoke about when this fight was announced there was a couple of defensive holes (coughs) sorry that i saw in that like hector garcia fight that i was looking at straight away like oh my god like that's just a he does this thing where he especially did it in the garcia fight he'll like throw this sort of lunging hook or like lunging sort of jab to the body and like lean real low, bring his body low to do it. Then once he realizes that you're biting on it, he makes that same thing and then he jumps and throws this hook to your head. It's a good shot. But for somebody with the reflexes and the speed, especially in that like fucking perfect left hook that Garcia has, it's just fucking recipe for disaster for Tank. He goes to jump and Garcia takes half a step back, throws that shot and catches him flush on the chin. Catches him fucking mid-air, you reckon? Bit of a mid-air fucking collision? Well, legitimately, he actually does, like, sort of semi-leave the ground to throw this shot. Yeah. Because of the way that it's designed, he, like, it's like he coils like a spring and then, like, waits for you to go down like you're trying to move your body away and then he fucking lunges at your head. It's called a gazelle hook. What a fucking terrible name. It is a fucking terrible name, but what? it kind of makes sense. Let's name it after a bird. You know. Gazelle's not a bird. What the fuck it is to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, We're going to get some cut in the comments be like, see? The fucking red-crested gazelle from fucking <laughs> Northern Africa. There's three of them left. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure I've seen a few gazelles mm-hmm. around that had wings. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, yeah, what do you reckon? Are they birds or not for him? <laughs> um, I think they're like a deer or something, aren't they? Like a gazelle. They're fucking they they're jumping over shit and that, I think. Part deer, part know. bird. Do you reckon, I'm they, not, I'm reckon not, they have a flu? I'm no David Attenborough, but... Nah. So, neither. Wish I was. No, all I can imagine is David Attenborough commentating a boxing fight. Oh, to be, you know, it's not... Davis, there with the jab, bro. Yeah, you know. Davis would already be four punches ahead by the time he spoke about the jab, but... Moving away ever so slightly. <laughs> Here they are fighting over this ring girl. Yeah. <laughs> Walking around with the numbers. <laughs> yeah. This is the mating battle. <laughs> it has commenced. <laughs> I just... I need to see this now. I reckon that'd be the best fucking... Best commentary ever. <laughs> fucking... I'm for it. <laughs> Holy shit. How do, you, anyway, but, how do you see the fight going like, though for him? 
Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I see it the way Ned said, but then I also see, like, the way Garcia was caught in that Luke Campbell fight. Yeah. Like, by, by that left hand. Like, if he makes that same, I don't know, decision, I guess, to overcommit on that right hand and Tank is able to catch him like Luke Campbell did, he won't get the fuck back up. No. Uh, like it. But it goes both ways. If Tank overcommits on a shot, Garcia can slip and get like get rid of that left hook or that right fucking hand. Like it could be fucking over for Tank. Yeah. To me, it's like whoever lands the cleaner shot first is gonna take it because they both just got fucking dynamite in their hands. I'll be whoever's, extremely surprised to see this go the distance. Whoever's hungrier on the night, I feel like whoever. Like I feel like for. But Tank, he's probably been in this situation more times than Ryan. Like, the being under the big lights, the pressure. Like, because Tank's been and fought for multiple world titles. I mean, Garcia's got, like, how many Instagram followers? He's used to the bright lights. <laughs> Fucking, what a fuck we know. Calls himself a king. <laughs> <laughs> king of but, absolutely... Yeah, Fuck all, king of like the fourth rank in every fucking division. Shut yeah. up, cunt. Fucking and I mean that, like that statement only fucking stands until this weekend. Like, you can literally do something to change that in like three days, four days, whatever the fuck it is. I don't have no concept of time anymore. Uh it's yeah. such a fucking. It's a fifty-fifty. Yeah, like you can't just be like, nah, this he's gonna take it because of this. Like this is what I mean. There's yeah, like sorry. disadvantages and advantages to both sides, like height, probably like pe- more powers with tank, you could imagine, but then Garcia is faster, got the quicker reaction time. It's just like so many like things that play into it. The way this build up has gone, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a a technical bo- a boxing match for like the first six before like the fight really starts to fucking open up. Which tank? It's ahead in like a technical boxing match, I feel. Yeah, and like that, I feel like that favors Tank because he's not exactly the fastest starter. Like he likes to, you know, sort of set traps, make reads, and then come like, you know, around seven onwards, he starts to sort of act on the reads that he's made throughout the fight. Yeah. Well, he's like Floyd's it's, protege. So you got to imagine he's going to have some like similarities to Floyd. Yeah. Like he just doesn't start fast. So if Garcia can come out, start fast and land, that like that's a a big advantage. Like I feel like that, that's probably like Garcia's best chance is to get it done. I feel between one, like round sort of one to six. He's got to catch Tank early, hurt him, and gain some respect. Yeah. If he's yeah, not I, able, if he's not able to do that, I feel like Tank just wears him down, especially with the weight cuts and shit, like the rehydration cause. I feel like Tank Tank will wear him down and catch him late. And I kind of feel like, as much as he said, like, "Oh, I'm not sleeping on Ryan, and we're doing our research and this and that," I feel like Tank's the kind of person that doesn't respect anybody's power until he gets hit by it, regardless of like what's said about it. He just seems like that arrogant kind of guy. Yeah, and he, but he's. He's not dumb enough to come forward and sit in the pocket where he could possibly be fucking tagged by that hook. He's like, he's not that stupid. No, God, no. He's a smart like, fighter. He is the smarter fighter. That's why, like, they're going, oh, this is going to be a war. I don't see that for the first six. I don't see it being a war. Like, yeah, they'll be trying to land shots, but I feel like it'll be more of a, more of a boxing match getting reads and then come late is when the fight will, like, actually fucking get started. And you're right in the sense that, like, if Garcia can sort of push the pace in those first six rounds and then puts Tank in a position where he has to go for those chances. Yeah, so, exactly. like, that, I feel like that's, yeah, kind of going to be something along the lines of what his game plan is going to be. Like, really land those shots, like, even just outpointing him, like, putting on the pressure, maybe trying to tag him a couple of times in those first couple of rounds that sort of throws Tank off balance, off his game plan. Because that's what you yeah. need. You need and, the and smarter Ryan, fighter to be off his game plan. And Ryan knows he can't come in too aggressive either because he knows he can't get fucking tagged by Tank. Exactly. So, like, you're going to get a boxing match to start off with, I feel. And then once they both start making reads, someone starts landing and taking control of the fight, then it will really fucking open up. 
So, what, you reckon maybe sixth, seventh round, things will start to get a little frisky? Yeah, I think the things will start to get heated then. They'll probably be fucking a little bullshit at the end of the rounds where they fucking look at each other and fucking whatnot. But no one's going to come in and try and overcommit on anything too fucking early. No, I feel like there's like, like yeah, too much power on both sides. Yeah, neither of them are that fucking stupid. Yeah. Like Tank doesn't know how to read, but he's a good fucking boxer. Yeah, well, if Floyd, <laughs> if Floyd taught him, he's got no fucking clue. Yeah, I think it was his teacher. Him and Jeff. Oh, me. Fuck me. You know, Billy Alrighty. Madison, when he draws the Z's on the fucking blackboard. And they're just ziggled. Rizzuto's not a word. <laughs> he's a baseball player. You're cheating. Yeah, that's, that's how they got him doing his Z's. He's like, hmm. <laughs> but yeah, fun fight. It is a fucking fun fight. So why don't we just do a round of predictions here? I'm gonna go. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like no, no, no. I just I, I need to make a little caveat for it. I feel like with everything that we've said, all of the actual like boxing ability aside, there is the real high possibility that Tank could be going to prison in like a month. I feel like that plays on you, regardless of how much of a like oh I don't give a fuck character you kind of have, because he could be going away for a long period of time. What did they do again? Like, no, which, is not also, a long enough... which is also dangerous because if he goes away for a long period of time, he's got nothing to fucking lose right now. This is what like, I what mean. Happens it could now, go... What happens now won't matter in five years. It really could go like both ways. It could play on him to the point that he's out of sorts or it could play on him to the point that he's just like, fuck this, I'm putting my fist through this cunt's skull because I'm not going to get a chance to do it for half a decade. Yeah, so His fist will be going elsewhere. I'm going to go Garcia round 10. Um, I'm going to go Tank, 7th. Interesting. Yeah, I'll Rumi, take, what do you tank, got? take Tank round 9. Alrighty. There you go, they're fucking locked in. Locked in, loaded, ready to go. And I believe we're also going to try and do a bit of a fight call for that. A fight call? Yeah, we'll do it as part of the podcast kind of thing, but... I don't that happen. Oh, well, maybe we should try and do it live somewhere. We'll just call up a fight. Right, we're just... How you going? <laughs> do you have the number? You been good? How's work? What are you wearing? <laughs> Boxing fucking shorts? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 <laughs>